Okay, here we go. So it's uh, cylinder demo time. Um, so before you start, you want to have like a really nice sphere of clay, one pound, and you want to get it pretty much right in the middle. Um, that you, if you do that and it's not crazy shape, then you're in a much better position to start. And just get your wheel going. I like to have the wheel going reasonably fast for centering. And first thing I do, get my hands wet and then just push down a little just to make sure that the clay is attached to the wheel. You can even take your finger and just press down on that very little base where it attaches to the wheel. Then I'm going to squeeze up into a cone and I'm trying to contain the clay so I've got my hand all around it and I'm just squeezing mostly with this part of my hand on each and I'm just squeezing that up. You don't need to go crazy high. Um, and then I'm going to push back down. And I like to have my left hand just tucked around, and my right hand in a karate chop. And I just gently, I'm pushing down and I'm pushing in. So you're not letting the clay move anywhere. You're just, you're containing it. So you can see my hand is all around the clay, it's, my finger is touching the wheel head and I'm coming down, so I'm making a complete box for the clay. So if you let the clay go, it will. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. Um, in terms of water, you want just enough water to make sure that the clay slips between your hands. You don't want too much, the more you add, the sloppier it'll get and the harder it'll get it'll lose its shape. Um, so this is a good position. You really want to be fully centered before you open. Then when I open, I'm just going to use my thumb like a, a pneumatic arm. This is literally the only motion that I'm doing. I'm pressing down and I'm not going straight down. I'm going at a 45 degree angle. And you want to go to the desired depth of the floor. To check that, I recommend you do this every time to begin with until you get a sense for the depth of the clay. Get your pin tool and use your finger to go down and mark where, where the clay goes into. So that's, I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> but uh, that's about right. It could be a little, a little deeper. You want about an eighth of an inch. So I'll go down a little bit more. Now I'm going to pull out and open it. So we want a nice flat bottom with a right angle to the wall. So I'm pressing down and pulling towards myself. Nice and gentle. Now you can see on the outside I've got my thumb. That's making sure that it's not going anywhere crazy. And I'm just, with my right hand I'm supporting this and helping with the pressure. Nice and even pressure. I'm pressing down and towards myself. This is often when it goes wrong for people and so just just try and be really gentle and even when you open. When you've done that initial opening I will further compress the clay by pressing forwards and this also helps by making a nice right angle wall. So I've come out and then I push back and this compression in the base is really important it helps stop you get s cracking in your in the base of your pots so I'm gonna make the clay go a bit faster you never want to kick when you're throwing it's just really difficult to do that so at this point I'm aiming at making like a volcano shape so I'm just gonna lightly pinch Thumb on the outside, finger on the inside. Most of my force is my right hand. I'm literally just gonna push that clay up. And my pinching is just helping guide it. Now you can see that got a little off center. So every time I work from now on, I need to compress the top. Like every move up, compress the top. 
I'm doing that by pinching and then with this finger I'm pressing down so it's kind of like an H with your hands you've got your fingers and pressing down and you really want to be completely centered at this point before you start pulling so to begin with I'm gonna make a little seat for my finger here by pressing in underneath you can also do that with your thumb taking like if you have some smush on the wheel head I use my thumb to clean that off and then from here you can get your fingers in and you can do it first initial pull now don't try and lift too much clay the first time and ease off towards the top you want most of your weight is down in the bottom so you want most pressure here easing up and very little at the top and when you lift off do it super gently a lot of times you can send the pot off center just by grabbing it too aggressively or coming off too aggressively to get it back just do that same H motion pinching the top pressing down so I'm gonna go again so I'm just gonna take that thumb out of the base you don't want it to be sharp so I'm just uh, making sure it's soft that indent and when I pull I'm always I'm lifting my hands on the my fingers on the outside are underneath the ones on the inside so it's like that um, and I always want to see this bulge of clay going up if you don't see that then you're not really moving the clay and again at the top I'm gonna compress and I want the clay going a little quicker here so I'm just going to show you um, one more pull when with the cylinders we're aiming at six inches so you've really got to get the clay out of the base and I actually like to use my knuckle rather than my fingertips it's more stable so you can try that too and I'm just this is really gentle the first time I had more pressure because everything was thicker and you can see how it's kind of flared out at the top now that will often happen um, so when you're pulling you really want to aim inwards um, but you can also come in and you can make that right like that so when you want to make your cylinder really nice and straight you use your wooden rib and on the inside I'm just going to press out against that rib now my, I haven't done a great job here and my uh, top is wavy so I'll just show you quickly how to remedy that get your pin tool and um, press it in with your finger on the inside and you can just take off a little bit of clay and that makes your top much neater we always want to pay attention to the tops and bases um, make them nice and neat also you never want to leave any water in the bottom of your pot now, I should have got that water out a little earlier because now I've made it flare again so I'll just show you how to collar it once more so with my hands I'm just cupping it and colouring it in and I'll just take my rib and make sure it's all nice so that I'm, I'm pretty happy with that so now before I take it off the wheel I'm just gonna take a little bit of clay from the base I'm just using my wooden tool at an angle and I'll soften that edge you always want to make sure your base is uh, nice and clean and not sharp and push get the wire really like stable in your hands and right on the wheel head and pull through now when you lift it off you want your hands to be completely dry 
So it's where you have a towel or an apron. <laughs> and when you lift it off, just pop it towards yourself and then lift up and use your whole, whole hands, just real gentle and put it on your wear board. That's it. Good luck.